this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Peter Svidla and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game from Greng Chess Classic Tournament played in 2019. Peter Svidla had white pieces and he started with e4. Magnus Carlsen played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, black to move, g6, d6, and e6 are the three most played moves. Carlsen played e5. This move was considered not to be the best by many experts. It prevents d4 by white, but it weakens light squares. Well, after this game, experts may change their mind. The game continued. Bishop to c4. Black to move. Bishop to e7 was played. If knight to f6, then knight to g5 is extremely unpleasant. Bishop to e7, d3, d6, knight to d2. This is a very popular move in this position. Knight to f6, knight to f1, knight to d7, and knight to d5. And now we are following the game Anand Ivanchuk, played in 2001. Ivanchuk played knight to b6, so did Carlsen. Knight takes on b6, a takes on b6, Anand played c3, so did Svidla. Ivanchuk castled, so did Carlsen. Knight to e3, bishop to g5, castling, king to h8, white to move. In the game, Anand Ivanchuk. Anand played bishop to d2 and came second. Peter Svidla played a3 and now f5. Knight takes on f5, bishop takes knight on f5. Pawn takes knight. Black to move. Would you take the pawn on f5 or not? Carlsen played d5. Let's see why. If rook takes on f5, then bishop to d5. And if something like queen to c7, bishop to e4. Back to our game. d5 was played. Bishop to a2. Rook takes on f5 now. Queen to g4, rook to f6, white to move. This is the critical position of the game. f4 was played. Moves like rook from c to e1 should have been considered. Not very fancy move. Let's go back to our game. f4 looks like a very natural move. And it's hard to believe that this is not a good move. Let's see why. Pawn takes pawn on f4. This is freeing the square for the knight. Queen to g5. Let's take it back. If rook takes on f4, then knight to e5 is extremely unpleasant. If queen goes to a safe spot, let's say queen to e2, then rook takes rook. And let's go back. If queen goes to, say, g3, then rook takes on f4, and after queen takes on f4, knight takes on d3, again, black is winning. Back to our game. Queen to g5. It is black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Note that the pawn on d5 is not defended well. How to defend the pawn? Is this a good move? Then rook takes on f4. Back to our game. There was a surprise. Carlsen did not defend the pawn. He played queen to f8. In the interview after the game, Carlsen said that this is the move that probably Svidla missed in his calculations. And this is probably true. So Carlsen allowed pawn on d5 to be captured. Queen takes on d5. Bishop takes on d5 is even worse than rook to f5 forking the queen and the bishop. So we have queen takes on d5, rook to d8, queen to f3, knight to e5, black pieces are more actively placed. Queen to e4, black to move. This is another very interesting moment of the game. Carlsen can take the pawn on d3. Instead, he played knight to g4. He wants to plant his knight on e3. Rook from c to e1. 
knight to e3. Carlsen's knight is a monster, and Svidla's position is difficult to play. It's very easy to go wrong for white. Rook to f2. Rook to e8, attacking the queen again, allowing Svidla to take the pawn, which was not relevant for the game. Black to move. How would you continue in this position? Carlsen played g5, and this is the best move. This does not compromise the safety of the black king. Perhaps now Svidla wished he had a dark squared bishop. Rook from f to e2, g4. This looks very unpleasant, doesn't it? Rook to f2, queen to h6, queen to c7, rook from e to f8. Which pawn will go forward? Perhaps g3. It's a very difficult position for white. Well, when you try to find a variation, a move that works, and nothing works, what do you do then? h3 was split. Let's take it back. If something like queen to e5, then g3. And after h takes on g3, knight to g4. And black is winning. Back to our game. So h3 was played. Pawn takes pawn on h3. g3. F takes on g3. Rook takes rook. Black to move, what would you do? Carlsen played h2 check, king to h1. Svidla was a good sport, he didn't resign. He allowed g2 check mate. This was very powerful performance by Magnus Carlsen. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.